welcome you all in the lecture series of panchakarma uh, in today's lecture we will discuss about the therapeutic application of vaitranabasti myself dr rajkala panchakshari patel head and associate Depart associate professor department of panchakarma faculty of ayurveda ims bhu varanasi the basti chikitsa is considered to be a prime treatment modality among the panchakarma in ayurveda Acharya Chakradatta has mentioned this Vaitrana Basti in chapter 73 of Niruha Adhikara. This is emphasized with specific amount of dravyas and in specific disease conditions. The term Vaitrana is used as a name associated with Shalya Tantra by Acharya in Sushrut Samhita. Here in the context of Vaitrana Basti, it implies that the timely administration of this Basti restores the health of the person from the hell of rogas. Vaitrana Basti is practiced nowadays extensively with excellent results. We can say that it helps to expel out the morbid doshas from the body and thereby giving relief in the disease is named the Vaitrana to this Basti. In Vangasena and Chakradatta mentioned Pala Shukti Karsha Kuravehi Amli Guda Sindhu Janma Gomutrehi Taila Yuto Ayam Basti Shula Anaha Amvatharaha. This is the main reference of bas this Basti. This is the unique Ruksha Basti which can be given in the Amavastha of the disease or in Auranavastha of the diseases and it has whenever we want to give the Vatya Satena Chikitsa that is sometime Ruksha, sometime Singha. So this is the Basti usually add with Vaitrana and Panchatikta Kshira Basti in the avascular necrosis of the head of the femur or in ankylosing spondylosis. So this Basti stands or heads a very specific quality in Panchakarma. Coming to the content of the Basti. Amlika that is tamarind, one classical dose is one pala. In grams or in clinical practice, we take as a 50 gram, then is guda that is jagari. Classical dose is one shukti, and we add in grams that is 25 grams. Sendhava that is rock salt, classical dose is one karsha that is 10 to 12 gram. Gomutra that is cow urine, one kudava that is four pala. In some Gomutra, instead of Gomutra, in some content of the Vaitrana Basti, we add Godukta, sometimes we add Kulatta Kvatha, sometimes we add Dhanambla. And Taila, that is Ishat Taila Yuto, is mentioned in the text or reference of the Basti. So, we add Tila Taila or Eranda Taila or specific Taila according to the condition of the disease, that is 10 to 25 ml. Different opinion on the dose, like Chakradatta. Sendhava he says one karsha, Vrindamadhava also says one karsha and Vangasin also says one karsha. In Guda, Chakradatta says one shukti, Vrindamadhava one shukti and Vangasena says half pala. Amlika, all the Acharyas told one pala. Taila, everybody told. In Chakradatta, the quantity is not mentioned. In Vangasena, he says Ishat Taila Yuto. So, there usually we add the 20, 10 to 25 ml of taila. Gomutra is one kurva is mentioned in the Chakradatta and Vrindamadhava. Vangasena has not mentioned that. Godugda mentioned by Vangasena that is also one kurva. So, coming to the Pathabhida, there are different opinion on the Vaitrana Basti. While selecting the Drava Dravya, Vangasena has mentioned Surabhi Payaha instead of Gomutra in the same quantity as we seen in previous slide. The critical edition of Vrinda Madhava reports a variant where Guda is replaced by the Hingu. He says Amlika Hingu Sindhu Janma Gomutrehi that is the instead of Guda he says Hingu should be added. Nishchalakara and Shivadasa Sena stipulate the quantity of Taila as one pala on the basis of existing clinical tradition that is Ishan Ishat Taila Miti palam iti vivaharanti vidhaha. So, he says it should be one pala. Tattva Chandrika Tika presents the practice of adding 
वन मदन फला टू बाई त्रण बस्ती विच इज़ यूजली वी एड इन द एवरी निरुहा ऑफ कोर्स बाय एडिंग वन मदन फला विल एनहांस द इफेक्ट ऑफ वैतरणा अल्सो दैट विल बिकम मोर पोटेंश पोटेंशियल सो क्लासिकल इंडिकेशन ऑफ वैतरण बस्ती इज शूला दर इज पेन आनाहा गैसेस डिस्टेंशन आम वाता द डिसीज ड्यू टू आमा एंड वाता शोफा ऑफ कटी उरु पृष्ठा दैट इज द इन्फ्लैमेशन ऑफ अपर एंड लोअर बैक उरुस्तंभा दैट इज द स्पेसिफिक डिसीज ऑफ लोअर लिम गृधरसी almost equal to sciatica janu samkocha that is stiffness in the knee vishama jwara that is specific fever klebya that is impotency these are the classical indications as per acharya chakratna and with vrinda uh, madhava has explained the shula anaha and amavata as a indication while vangasena has explained the stambha kati ansha prishta shula gridrasi Klebya, Urustamba, and Vishamajwara as a indication. So this is the contraindication, as it is not written in the text, but with clinical exam practice or with clinical experience, we came to this uh, conclusion that in such conditions and in these diseases, the Vaitrana Basti, as it is the most Tikshna and Ushna Basti, should not be done in these conditions. That is, the, whenever there is anal diseases. Skin diseases, blood disorders, when it is pitta pitta prakruti or very mudu mudu koshta, the patient is having very mudu koshta. Whenever there is ileitis, colitis, pancreatitis, hepatitis, chronic liver diseases, high grade fever, fever, Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, these all are the conditions contraindicated for Vaitrana Basti. These all may end into the chronic or complications that why that's why these all conditions are contraindicated in vaitran basti now coming to the detail of the procedure so method of preparation of the basti so method of the preparation of the basti so we will divide it into the four subheadings that the material required for formulate basti ingredients of basti procedure to formulate and give the basti and time of administration coming to the materials required to prepare the basti so here in the video you will you are finding there is a basti putaka basti netra gloves cotton cloth cotton cloth and mortar and pestles and the content which we required for the basti so these are the ingredients of basti you can find out in the video or picture this is the guda sendhava that is rock salt gomutra arka as we very we are not getting the proper gomutra or freshly prepared freshly fresh gomutra so usually in hospital or institute setup we use the gomutra arka so this is the cow urine gomutra arka chincha this is the uh, paste prepared with chincha and eranda tela that is the castor oil coming to the procedure to formulate and administer the basti so pre procedure that is the preparation of the patient and second is the preparation of the basti so preparation of the patient after the evacuation of bladder and bowel local massage to the abdomen and back and legs should be done with the specific oil and the massage usually we do and fomentation with pel to the pelvic region and the abdomen we usually we do with the uh, warm hot cloth or nadi swida is done then method of preparation of the vaitrana basti dravya as in niruha we first add the sendhava and we grind it and then we add the makshik makshik or honey followed by the adding sneha dravya kalka dravya and kwath dravya in successive order in the same manner in vaitrana basti there is no as there is no description of the preparation of basti in the classical text so usually we do usual method of mixing of niruha is followed in vaitran also so in vaitran basti first we add the sendhava and we grind it well then the syrup of purana guda usually we mix we warm the purana guda with in the on the flame so it become the liquid or syrup or otherwise sometimes we add the some hot water in the guda and we make the paste of it that that syrup is added to the sendhava 
then taila is added to thin with thin steam and mixed well then chincha devoid of the seeds ground well and made into a paste we filter it and then we will add to the mixture to this mixture drava dravya is added slowly and mixed thoroughly so in this mixture we add the gomutra or gomutra ka with the uh, calculation or with the measuring the gomutra we add in this mixture this solution is filtered and made lukewarm by keeping over a hot water bath the main procedure is the pradhan karma patient is patient is advised to lie down in the left lateral position on the basti table with the straight body and left hand kept below head his right leg is folded at the knee joint and made to rest flat over the straight leg straight left leg as you can see in the video that patient is lying down lying down in the same position then the lukewarm or sukhoshna anxious material or sneha is applied at the anal level and on the basti instrument or basti netra as we can see in the picture also or video also it is inserted slowly into the one fourth part of the basti netra lukewarm basti should be administered slowly as we are seeing into the video then coming to the post procedure or pashat karma so in video you will find out that some content of basti is rem remaining in the basti putaka that is to avoid the vata or savat basti so that is the administration of basti coming to the post procedure the basti instrument is removed from the anus then the gentle tapping on thighs and buttock is done then the patient is asked to change posture to left lateral if the patient gets natural urge within 10 to 15 30 minutes he will be advised to evac evacuate bowel the clin clinical feature of proper basti karma are observed when to give basti so there is a the spe speciality of this vaitrana basti is when to give routinely uh, niroha we we usually in classical it is explained like niroha basti should be given madhyane kinchit avarte but in the context or in the context of vaitrana it is written that vaitrana kshara basti bhukte cha api deyam that vaitrana and kshara basti can be given after meal also so this is very specific condition or very specific time is mentioned in the vaitrana basti that is make this basti separate from the niruha so hence usually niroha basti is administered between 10 to 2 pm but vrinda madhava and vanga sena explain that vaitrana vaitrana basti can be can be administered to all types of patient even after consumption of the food also which devo, which deviates the from the general norms of the administering niroha basti bhukte apiche deyam according to vrinda madhava it can be administered during evening time also so sayam kal sayam cha deyam that is also mentioned by the vrind madhava the administration of vaitrana basti immediately after food intake should be considered as an exceptional rule and should be administered in specific cases like amavastha where the patient is too weak to withstand the strength of the basti as it is a most tikshna basti among the niruha so coming to the mode of action the action of basti is not localized but it has a systemic effect in ayurveda it is said that the virya or potency of basti dravyas administered into pakvashaya reaches the whole body through srotasas that is channels just like water when poured into the root of the tree reaches the whole plant basti administered into the pakvashaya draws out the morbid matters from the body just like a cloth while coloring absorb only color not water ingredients role in a action of basti so we will here we will just discuss the each and every indi, indi, uh, ingredient of the vaitrana is having unique feature so which add effect in the specialized vaitrana basti so coming to the rock rock salt 
in the in basti therapy during panchakarma while preparing the basti liquid rock salt is added to prepare an emulsion that is also a action of rock salt it helps to dissolve and expel doshas from the intestine it helps in absorption of other nutrients into the body from gastrointestinal tract it also eliminates toxins from the body and used during the sudation therapy it strengthens the body fortifies the bone and connective tissues and relieves muscle cramps warm manif manifestation and halitosis tamarind the ripe fruit of tamarind is madhura amla in taste it possesses guru and ruksha guna guru and ruksha guna at a time having ushna vidya and amla in vipaka there is the speciality of tamarind the ripened fruit is vata pitta shamaka it has rochana and deepana that is appetizing and digestive trishna trishna nigrahana and yakrit tejaka that is liver stimulant shothahara and mutrala vishagna and basti shodhana klamahara actions like like liver stimulant it is the anti inflammatory diuretic antidote of the certain poisons Ur urinary antiseptic or cleans the uh, urinary bladder and antifertic these are the actions of tamarind it is useful in fever constipation loss of appetite wound sunstroke rheumatism inflammation and diabetes its fruits is laxative it possesses antioxidant anti inflammatory anti microbial anti fungal anti viral and hepatoprotective anti diabetic and anti cytotoxic activity which ultimately adds into the effect of vaitrana the jaggery or guda is a sugarcane product used extensively in ayurvedic medicines for therapeutic uses dietary sources and pharmaceutical process of ayurvedic medicine it is not completely defined like sugar it doesn't increase kapha dosha it is a rich source of minerals like potassium iron magnesium zinc selenium calcium vitamins and antioxidant it also contains polyphenol a phenol phenolic compound which is responsible for antioxidant and cytoprotective activities it is also good for patients with dysuria constipation cardiac problems asthma allergies chronic fever piles throat and lung infection malabsorption syndrome and kapha vata ja roga that's why this special jagri instead of madhu is added into the vaitrana basti cow urine gomutra described in ayurveda is an effective medicinal substance of animal origin with numerous therapeutic effects or uses it is considered as the best and useful among all mutra it is told as sanjeevani and amrita in ayurveda it is a non toxic waste material consist of water urea and mixture of salt hormones and enzymes according to ayurveda it is good for warm manifestation skin disorder and pruritis it is pungent in taste tikshna ushna alkaline agni deepaka medhya and kapha vata hara pitta vardhaka and beneficial in shula gulma udara anaha so the it is also used in obesity sudden cardiac and renal diseases indigestion stomach ache diarrhea edema jaundice anemia hemorrhoids and skin diseases including vitiligo it acts this basti or this uh, gomutra acts as a bio enhancer and has antifungal and antimicrobial germicidal bacterial anti helminthic antioxidant and anti neoplastic action it is also useful in hypersensitivity reactions and in numerous other diseases including increasing the life span of a person it has immune enhancer properties it augment b and t blastogenesis and iga igg and igm titer in experimental animals these all studies has been done on the gomutra so this can we can assess all this action in the basti also with the basti also so some surabhi paya is also mentioned in the cow milk uh, in the vaitrana so these all are the effects of cow milk which insert in the vaitrana basti so cow milk has its 
has been described as a nutritive and good for the vital organs such as eyes, brain and heart. It possess sweet taste and shita vidya. That's why whenever there is, if the basti is becoming more tikshna with gomutra, so cow milk can be added. It acts as a rasayana and ojavardhaka. It is an emulsion or colloid of butter fat globules within a water based fluid that contains dissolved carbohydrates and protein aggregates with minerals. The calcium in milk ensures high absorption under unfavorable physical addition condition due to the presence of lactose even in the absence of vitamin D. It is good balance of all the fat soluble vitamins and vitamin B12. Dhanyamla uh, in uh, south school of thought or in the south we usually prefer to add the dhanyamla in Vaitaranavasti instead of gomutra or whenever we are not good getting gomutra or if you want if the patient cannot withstand, withstand the tikshnata of gomutra the dhanyamla can be used instead of gomutra as gomutra is very much ruksha and gokshira is gokshira that is milk is very mrudu in spite of this dravadravyas in clinical practice of dhanyamla is seen to be used as a dravadravya which is neither too tikshna nor too mrudu and it is indicated for asthapana. So, it can be used in a vata and vata kafaj condition. Kulatha like dhanyamla another dravadravya used in Vaitranbasti in south part of India or usually in here also we practice as a kulatha kvata. It is used in obesity amenorrhea, hypercholesterolemia, diabetes mellitus, etc. It is endowed with astringent and amla taste and hot in nature. It is kafavatahara. It used in the rukshana karma. It helps carminative, it has carminative, diuretic, antipyretic, antihelminthic properties. It is used for fever, cough, asthma, urinary calculus, rheumatism, colic, goiter, obesity, worm, hiccup, amenorrhea, urticaria and abdominal tumors. It con contains high source of iron, calcium, polyphenol, flavonoids and in unprocessed form. It is the hypoglycemic and reduces insulin resistance. Tilatela, mostly we use tilatela, ishat taila instead of whenever there is taila is mentioned, taila name is there and the specific taila is not mentioned, we usually use the tila taila, uh, but when we want the specific effect from the Vaitranabasti, so we can go for the ruksha taila which is not amak, amakrut or which is not uh, kapha prakopa. So, there the gross sendhavadi tailam or sendhavadi tailam can be used or erenda taila can be used. So, these are the effects of tila taila. Then coming to the probable mode of action of basti, basti of course with its active principle of the drug, it binds with the receptors in the gastrointestinal tract and it stimulates the enteric nervous system that is how it result into the pacification of the diseases. With this, thank you all.